pistol, a symbol of power, but also one of the most controversial inventions in history. Every year, over 10 million pistols are manufactured worldwide, serving the military, law enforcement, and civilians alike with extremely high demands for precision and reliable operation under all conditions. Have you ever wondered, how can a handheld machine containing dozens of tiny mechanical parts be mass-produced with an error margin of less than one thousandth of a millimeter? This journey begins with a stroke of a pen on a blueprint then passes through a series of stages including raw material extraction and processing, machining, assembly, testing, and rigorous quality control. All of this takes place inside cutting-edge mechanical factories, where machines and humans work in harmony to create a perfect finished product. Let's explore how a modern pistol is brought to life in this video. The United States is not only the largest manufacturer of civilian firearms in the world, but also a massive consumer market that sustains an industry worth tens of billions of dollars. Yet behind that cold steel lies an enormous price to pay. Research from Harvard University shows that gun violence causes economic losses of up to $280 billion each year, including medical treatment costs, lost productivity, insurance expenses, and security measures, with pistols accounting for a significant share. The deadly impact of this weapon stems not only from its widespread presence, but also from its extreme lethality. Each bullet can reach speeds of 250-450 meters per second, creating the phenomenon of cavitation, a void forming inside the body that completely destroys surrounding soft tissue and blood vessels. For this reason, the pistol has become a deeply conflicted symbol, representing both the right to self-defense and the looming dangers of the modern age. In the field of precision engineering, the journey of a modern pistol does not begin with a block of steel or propellant, but with a technical blueprint. On paper, the very first lines are the result of hundreds of hours of collaboration between engineers and firearms experts. They not only determine dimensions and weight, but also analyze recoil forces, the durability of each material, and the weapon's ability to function in harsh environments. All of this serves a single purpose, to create a compact, easy-to-handle firearm that can withstand the immense pressure of every shot. Alloy steel is prioritized for load-bearing components, such as the barrel and slide parts that must endure thousands of cycles of thermal expansion and impact. In contrast, the grip and auxiliary frame are typically made from lightweight aluminum or heat-resistant polymer, reducing the overall weight while maintaining the necessary structural rigidity. Before any part of a pistol takes shape, before metal ever meets the edge of a CNC cutter, its journey begins deep underground. At depths of hundreds of meters, massive mineral deposits quietly supply the mechanical world with its very first raw materials, iron ore, nickel, and bauxite. These names may sound unfamiliar, yet they form the foundation for producing durable steel and lightweight aluminum alloys. Here, heavy-duty mining machines roar day and night, lifting multi-ton blocks of rock from the ore veins. The raw ore is crushed, screened, and sorted before being loaded onto massive trains bound for the steelworks. Inside blast furnaces, iron is melted at temperatures exceeding 1,500 degrees, combined with carbon and trace elements to become steel, the material that bears the full brunt of a weapon's force. Aluminum, on the other hand, is extracted from bauxite through a sophisticated electrolytic process, yielding a metal that is both lightweight and strong enough to form a pistol's frame. Once the metals reach the desired purity, they are cast into standardized ingots and billets, the very building blocks from which a modern pistol begins its life. The shaping process begins inside massive furnaces, where steel is exposed to temperatures of up to 1,200 centigrade. At this heat, the metal does not melt, but reaches the ideal malleability for bending, compressing, and transforming its form. 
This is a decisive moment. A variation of just a few dozen degrees can alter the internal structure, leading to a reduction in the weapon's overall durability. Once the steel reaches its optimal state, it is placed into forging dies weighing several tons. Under the immense pressure of hydraulic presses, the glowing red metal is compacted layer by layer, gradually taking the shape of the barrel, slide, or frame, the core components that bear the full load when the weapon is fired. For parts that require greater lightness and flexibility, such as the grip frame or polymer panels, engineering-grade plastics are melted and injected into steel molds using precision injection molding technology. In modern production lines, Precision casting techniques are combined with traditional forging, enabling the simultaneous creation of both the durable metal core and the lightweight outer shell, significantly reducing production time while ensuring the product's longevity. Depending on the specific requirements of each component, from strength and weight to overall shape, the factory will choose between traditional forging or precision investment casting. For parts with complex geometries that do not bear excessive loads, such as the frame shell, trigger, or internal assemblies, the investment casting method offers clear advantages. The process begins by creating a wax model that replicates every detail of the intended part with complete accuracy. This wax pattern is repeatedly dipped into a ceramic slurry, each time building up another layer until a sufficiently thick, heat-resistant ceramic shell is formed. Once the shell has dried and hardened, it is heated so the wax melts and drains out, leaving a cavity that perfectly matches the original design. At this stage, molten metal is poured in, filling the mold completely and solidifying into a near-finished component, significantly reducing the amount of fine machining required afterward. Once removed from the mold, the rough components still retain heat and must be cooled gradually to stabilize their internal structure. This stage cannot be rushed, as cooling too quickly can create internal stresses, leading to cracks or deformation. Only after they have fully cooled are the parts moved on to shape inspection and microstructural analysis. From these initial billets, the components are sent to CNC machining centers, where tolerances are maintained within just a few thousandths of a millimeter. The barrel is drilled through, then precision turned and rifled to cut spiral grooves that guide the bullet's path. The slide undergoes milling to create slide rails and technical openings, while the firing pin, trigger, and various pins are shaped with ultra-hard cutting tools at high speeds. Each finished piece must achieve an absolutely smooth surface, perfectly accurate cut angles, and be completely free of cracks, even those invisible to the naked eye. This is because even the slightest deviation could cause the pistol to malfunction or become a hazard to its user. Beneath the solid metal exterior of a pistol lies a finely tuned mechanical engine made up of dozens of auxiliary components. From the recoil spring, safety catch and rubber buffers to the dust cover and slide stop, each part may be small, but it plays an essential role in ensuring the weapon operates smoothly, reliably, and safely. These components are not created by chance. They are manufactured in parallel with the primary parts using specialized stamping machines, bending presses, and dedicated casting molds. For elements requiring high elasticity, such as recoil springs, Special spring steel is selected and subjected to a complex heat treatment process to maintain consistent hardness and durability over time. Conversely, parts that need to be lighter and more flexible, such as grips or side panels, are produced from engineering-grade polymers. The material is melted and then injected under pressure into metal molds using precision injection molding technology. Once fabrication is complete, each component undergoes independent inspections for shape, strength, and function before being tested for compatibility with the pistol's main assemblies. Once all components have passed inspection and proven their compatibility, they move on to the critical stage, assembling the internal mechanism where separate pieces come together to form a complete machine. 
This stage is often referred to as giving the pistol its soul. The barrel, slide, firing pin, recoil spring, trigger, and drive system are installed into the frame with extremely high precision. The process typically follows a semi-automated model, combining the meticulous craftsmanship of skilled workers with the steady assistance of industrial robots. Every step is carried out in a strict sequence to ensure all parts fit together perfectly without interfering with one another. The firing mechanism, the most complex and sensitive assembly, is fitted entirely by hand, allowing technicians to closely observe and adjust each tiny pin and hair-thin sear. Finally, the safety system and control assemblies are integrated, ensuring the weapon functions only when properly engaged. This is also one of the most technically demanding and tightly supervised stages in the entire manufacturing process. With the mechanical core complete, the pistol moves into the exterior finishing stage, where technical functionality and aesthetics are refined side by side. The polymer frame is securely attached to the metal body using precision locking pins, ensuring a perfect fit without any deformation. Next components such as the sights, slide, rubberized grip panels and recoil pads are installed using set screws or specialized locking latches. The metal surfaces are treated with either a night ride finish or a Cerakote coating, a ceramic base layer that resists corrosion, reduces glare, and increases surface hardness. For models intended for special forces, the finish may be further enhanced with weather-resistant treatments or completed in specialized camouflage patterns, providing both durability and operational readiness in real-world combat environments. Once assembly is complete, each pistol must undergo a series of rigorous inspections before it is allowed to leave the factory. The first step is a mechanical check, assessing trigger travel and pull weight, the smoothness of the slide action, and the precise fit of every component. Next, the weapon is placed in an automated firing chamber for live fire testing, discharging dozens of rounds under extreme conditions, such as heavy dust, high temperatures, or immediately after being submerged in water. Throughout this process, a network of sensors records muzzle velocity, recoil force, shot group dispersion, and the cycle time of the operating mechanism. Only pistols that meet all technical and safety standards are cleared to move on to the next stage of production. Before officially leaving the production line, each pistol is engraved with a unique serial number on its frame using a high-powered laser. This sequence of characters serves both as an identifying mark and as compliance with firearms regulations in most countries. Immediately after engraving, the information is recorded in an electronic database, allowing the entire manufacturing and distribution history of that pistol to be traced. The serial number also plays a critical role in identifying and quickly recalling products in the event of widespread technical defects, while serving as an effective tool for law enforcement agencies during investigations and the resolution of related incidents. After completing the final inspection, each pistol is placed into a specialized case lined with shock-absorbing foam, ensuring maximum protection throughout transportation. Inside the case, in addition to the firearm, are a magazine, a cleaning kit, a user manual, and a quality inspection certificate. These cases are then grouped into batches, sealed inside cardboard cartons or industrial wooden crates, and labeled with barcodes and tamper detection sensors. Transportation strictly follows firearm safety regulations and is carried out only by licensed logistics providers using specialized vehicles and pre-approved routes. For export shipments, security and logistical requirements are even more stringent. Firearms may be transported by air, land, or sea, but always with proper declarations and under close supervision by customs and security forces at both the point of departure and the destination. This is the final step of the production line and the last safeguard before the weapons reach their lawful owners.
From a block of raw ore deep underground to a pistol with tolerances measured in just a few thousandths of a millimeter, this is a journey forged from advanced technology, skilled craftsmanship, and a rigorous quality control system. A pistol is not merely a tool, it is the result of dozens of intricate processes, hundreds of hands, and an entire industry working behind the scenes. While it remains a subject of much debate, one thing is clear. In today's world, understanding how a firearm is made is the foundation for making informed choices, from public policy to individual awareness. It also helps us better understand the connection between technology and responsibility. And above all, it serves as a reminder that every mechanical achievement carries within it both power and consequence. Thank you for staying with us until the end of this video. If you found this content valuable, please hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next compelling story.